Good morning, everyone. We are up here in downtown Angeles City this morning. Uh, Lud had to come up here to go to PhilHealth. I met up with a subscriber, Jody. Nice meeting up with Jody again. And uh, those are my bags going over. And uh, having breakfast with Jody. But anyways, we're up here. And uh, I love it up here. I love walking around this area. Uh, so I figured I'd break out the camera since we're up here. Let me show you where we're at right now. Right here we are in the downtown circle area. This is the circle area here. Pure Gold, KFC, Chow King. This is the area where we're at. Um, I'm just going to walk around in some of the areas I like to walk. I haven't been up here in a few months. So I figured, you know, while we're up here and uh, spending time up here, I'm just going to walk through some of the some of the areas I like and uh, share it with you guys. All right, we are heading down this way. It is Monday, and uh, I don't know if it's always packed like this, but I do know they're still working on the bridge, one of the bridges up here, and I had got caught in the traffic and got stuck in the traffic and had to, had to wait a little while to get around. he was talking to me but down here's the market I always like to walk around you know, clothing stores here st. Nicholas market st. Nicholas market I would just like walking through here traffic jam <laughs> Sight, sounds, and smells. All right, fresh battery, here we go. Looks like this is the corn area. Everybody's selling their corns. Looks good, looks good. How many is there? Oh, just a looking. <laughs> sweet corn. Sweet corn. I don't know. I don't know, looks good. Oh, and then this is uh, yellow corn. Yeah, regular yellow corn. I've had it before. It is pretty good. It's hot and it's fresh. Steaming. Throw some butter on it. Throw some butter on it. Throw some salt on it. Huh? It's like you wonder how people make make money. There's so many people selling the same exact thing. Yeah, but there's so many people buying. Yeah. I guess it's like a sorry, sorry store. There's so many Depends people selling so much. Depends on where you want to stop and negotiate and work a deal with. What fruits fruits are in season right now? Look. This one. What is it? I don't We have. We bought them. Huh. Oh, hey guys. All right. <laughs> What kind of fruits? Yeah, Sini what? Oh, okay, that's it. What's it called? Siniguelas. Siniguelas. Yeah, it's in Filipino grapes. Like a Filipino grape. All right, cool. Uh, that's in season. No, oh, lost a lot again. Oh, no, I didn't. Siniguelas, I know, that's what the dude just told me. He was delivering bags of them. What fruit is this, what? Papaya. That's a big papaya. <laughs> All right, let's take, a, uh, let's take a stroll down through the little market. There are three, it's market. very small, I think. The yellow one is taller. These are mangoes, green mangoes, right, Lot? Yeah, that's a Green mangoes are in season. All right. What's this, what? Uh, no, single man. Single man? Single man. What is it? Potato? No, it's not potato. You can eat that. It's kind of fruit too, but most of the time they will give, they will put that like a cooked cumin. Why is it? Single man should not eat that. It's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. St. Nicholas Market. <laughs> I 
mangoes, yellow mangoes. Those are in season too, huh? Yeah. Best mango I've ever eaten in my entire life was in the Philippines. They're just so good. I smell dry fish. Dry fish. Big fish. Squid. Slab of meat. These are what, milkfish? Milk. Milkfish. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> These are what? Uh, bitter melon. <laughs> I'm starting to I'm starting to learn and know all the the different fruits and vegetables and different things they sell here. A lot of times it's the same. Eggplants, you know, tomatoes, garlic, onions, uh, lime like a lima bean. I always I always see something new. Yeah, mangoes are in, huh? What look? Some chicken feet. Chicken fits. That's bamboo, right? No, that's banana. Oh. Banana. Mm. Mm. Alright. Eggs. Eggs. Ginger. Tilapia. Alright, let's get out of the market. Look, you ready? Yeah. We'll work our way back and uh, film some other area. All right, we're out of the market area. Down there is this circle. Pure gold. All right, the cross right here. Looks good, the cross. Look. What is the meaning of this? Oh my God. You got your tailor. Taylor right there. I think you just walk down the road and you'll find anything. Um, watch repair people. They just have little booths set up and uh, they'll repair your watch. Knife sharpening places. Bring your knives up here. They'll uh, sharpen your knives for you. There's another machinist right there. Socks. Where are they getting all this? Look, down in Manila. They get all their stock down in Manila? Yeah. Yeah. Like buying it like in bulk. Buying it in bulk. Yeah. yeah. So there's a watch repair guy right there. Just bring your watch, he'll fix it up, hook it up for you. What is that you can find it all here. They sell a lot of socks, but I don't know why, Lut. Why do they sell a lot of socks and everybody wears chinelas? <laughs> yeah, we'll go straight, I guess, down that way. Or we'll make a right across the street here. Look, you never answered my question why they sell a lot of socks. The school is opening for a lot of people who buy their socks. They need socks for school. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Having a cross street here. Everywhere you turn, everywhere you look, something to buy. Another watch repair place. That's the big thing right now, right, Lot? That's the big thing, milk tea. They seem to be popping up all over the place. They seem to be very popular here. 
What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Yeah. Another milk tea over there. Yeah, Tito. It's milk tea. Yeah, that's just that's the thing right now. Milk tea. It's good. I mean, we've had it. Anna Grace likes it. But milk tea is milk tea is in. What will happen is everything will be flooded with milk tea. There'll be one milk tea place on top of another milk tea place, and before you know it, the fat and the the in thing will be over, and uh, something else will come in, right, Lloyd? Because that's what happens. If something is hot and it's kicking off, that's what happens. Everybody gets in on it. Uh oh. <laughs> It's more fun in the Philippines. More frustrating in the Philippines. <laughs> I would say fr more challenging. That's it. It's more challenging. There's where they got all the traffic diverting from. The bridge is closed on the other side there, so they got everybody funneled. Funneling and coming down that little road. That bridge has been out for months now. It'll probably be another year or two before they finally fix that bridge. Are oh, you ready, Lon? Uh, all right. Off to the next. Off to the next walking area. All right. A trip into Angeles City would not be complete without stopping by the Holy Rosary Church, the Holy Rosary Parish. I just like this through here. It's always a nice little walk. Usually the, it's green. Looks like the uh, vines are, they're not greenery right now. They're not greenery right now. There's a couple. Now I was told, some of this church was affected by the earthquake. Um, or I read online or something where it was affected with the earthquake last week or a couple weeks ago. I don't know how bad it was damaged or anything. But here we are. Here's the historical area. Here's the church. They've got yellow tape here. I don't know if it's for parking. Or to prevent people from parking, but boy, well, just cool old church. Done quite a few videos down here on it. Those what? No, looks behind me. Usually have the side door open, so we'll we'll take a peek inside the side door. Yeah, they got this yellow tape right here. They usually, they usually don't have this yellow taped off, do they, Luck? Yeah. So, maybe there was some damage. Yeah, we'll come back here. Where? Oh, that right there. It looks like some concrete fell there. They got the doors blocked off, so maybe they do have it all shut down, because usually these doors are open. Yeah, they have it shut down. I mean, it's an old church. Yeah, used to go in right here, and they have it shut down. Well, we'll come back here. They have a prayer area, prayer area back here. We'll come back here. Look once to say a prayer. Yeah. 
it's nice out. A little cloudy. Sun's not beating on us today. Yeah, this is the other prayer area. All right. I'm not going to go in there. People are praying, so. Let's going to go in and say a prayer. All right, there it is. Advisory to ensure the safety of the faithful. The Holy Rosary Parish Church will be temporarily closed for rehabilitation and restoration work. Then it goes on the list, uh, the Mass and the Times. Our Mass schedule remains the same, however, there will be a change in the venue. So, it is shut down for rehabilitation and restoration. So evidently it was affected by the, uh, by the earthquake. There is the Holy Angel University. Like I said, I'm up here. Figured I would break out the camera. Because I like walking around here. A lot of people like, you know, seeing downtown Angeles City. And uh, like I said, I'm up here. So I'm going to film it for you guys. But anyways, we've got a trip coming up. We're leaving tomorrow. And uh, we're going to film it. We'll be going Tuesday night, Wednesday night. We're coming home Thursday. We're going to film it and uh we'll share it with you guys so stay tuned for that and uh sun's starting to come out we got to get to the store it's monday uh let's got to open up the store well actually the red horse guy is coming so she's got to be there for that delivery and uh stay tuned with us journey continues and uh, we'll see you guys later